He said he was just doing his job, an heroic soldier being honored for trying to save McFarland's Josh Brennan. We'll go live to D.C. ahead of tomorrow's Medal of Honor ceremony. It is tonight's in-depth report. Good evening. Thanks for being with us. I'm Eric Franke, a soldier unafraid of the ultimate sacrifice. As gunfire rang out around him, he ran into it and rescued a comrade being carried away by the Taliban. Tomorrow, Sal Junta from Iowa will receive the military's highest honor. The night team's David Douglas will be there when the president presents that honor, and he joins us live tonight from Washington, D.C. with more. David? Good evening, Eric. From our nation's capital, Staff Sergeant Sal Junta refuses to call himself a hero. But for a family in Wisconsin, he absolutely is, coming face to face with the enemy, not backing down, and bringing home a soldier who, without him, may have been lost forever. It is very humbling. Few people understand the feeling you get at Arlington National Cemetery better than Mike Brennan. As we were walking down the sidewalk, there were people handing out flags. The Madison police officer and father of fallen Army Sergeant Joshua Brennan found himself a participant in a funeral procession not forgetting what it was like as a parent. So our family and, and Josh's mom and family um, all lined up just as everyone did for us for our son's funeral and for our loss and, and we paid respect for the fallen Marine here. He's in D.C. to see Staff Sergeant Sal Junta receive the Medal of Honor for heroically saving his son from becoming a trophy of Taliban propaganda. The memories come flooding back. Grateful to sell for the fact that we were able to get Josh's body back and, and give him a proper burial. Difficult emotions made easier by leaning on military friends and family around him. Remind ourselves of, you know, things, you know, stories with Josh and his friends and we talk about him and, you know, his life as a soldier. The Brennan family, Josh's mother's family, June to his parents and the soldiers from the unit all gathered together to watch Sal's story on 60 Minutes. It helped to put things in perspective a little bit and to understand what happened and how it happened. And as he looks around at Arlington, Brennan knows his son is not alone. I can't just remember Josh's service. I had to think about the service of all of our soldiers. Mike tells me tomorrow will undoubtedly be tough. Junta will receive the Medal of Honor at the White House in an afternoon ceremony. And Junta tells Mike, that while he understands the honor, it has been really difficult having to relive the worst day of his life over and over again. And David, we understand he'll have a hundred or so guests on hand with him for that moment. Most of those men will be there from Italy where he is stationed with the 173rd Air Airborne Combat Brigade team where he is there in Italy. And they will be here with him. He says he could not have done this alone and any other soldier would have absolutely done the same thing. All right, the night team's David Douglas reporting live from Washington, D.C. tonight. David, thank you very much. And our in-depth coverage will continue tomorrow. You'll be able to see the, um, the Medal of Honor ceremony live on Channel3000.com. It'll be at 1 p.m. We will also have live coverage from this special event on News 3 at 5, 6, and 10 tomorrow night.